We're going to start this project with three eight foot one by six pine boards for a 75 and a half inch mantle. We're going to do miter cuts on both edges of the front piece. The top and the bottom are going to get straight cut edges and the sides will get one miter cut edge. You'll make your top and bottom boards one and a half inches shorter than your front board. Dry fit all your pieces with clamps. Walk around, make sure everything fits properly once you've Determine that everything is fit properly. You can go ahead and begin gluing this up. Remove each piece one by one, apply the glue, then reclamp and work your way all the way around. And now you're going to secure the boards with your brad nailer. Since we didn't use any screws on the outer portion of the mantle, you want to make sure you use enough brad nails for security. We use four on the end caps and about six to eight across the top and bottom. And now he's making the anchor bracket for the mantle. This is a two by four cut to the length of the inner dimensions of the mantle. And then two by four pieces cut to the depth of the inside of the mantle. Then attach each piece with a clamp and he prefers to pre-drill and then attach with screws. Now this piece looks a little different than the one you just watched him build. It's because the first piece, the two by four was not straight and it did not allow for proper mounting. So you have to ensure that your two by four is in fact straight. This is how we applied our finish. This is 50% high gloss paint and 50% water applied with a rag. Um, you can do as many coats as you like and just keep rubbing until you get the desired finish. This turned out to look like stain and we really liked it. Since we didn't do miter cuts all the way around, there were these slats in the top that I did have to go in with a miniature paintbrush and fill in these grooves. Um, if we had it to do over again, I think uh, I would have my husband do miter cuts instead all the way around, but we really love the way that it turned out. It matches our floor almost perfectly, which is exactly what we were going for. And now it's time to mount this mantle. You'll want to mark off the length of your mantle and the center wherever you're going to be mounting it. He marked off the center on the bracket so we could have that for reference for lining it up. 
And if you've been following along, this is how we built the frame of the fireplace. Above that black area is where this mantle is mounted, so we know that it is secure to something that is stud-like. And now you'll bring in your bracket, and you'll want to match up the center line that you previously marked off. Ensure that everything is level. Once you know that it's level, you can secure the bracket with one or two brad nails. And now you're going to dry fit the mantle. Try to keep a hold of it since you only have that bracket hanging up there by a couple brad nails. You're going to ensure that it's level. And now that you've verified that it's level, you can go ahead and attach it with screws. Place it back on, make sure everything looks the way that you want it to look. And then go ahead and add two screws, one to each end of the mantle at an angle. And here it is all done. In hindsight, if we were to make the mantle again, we would add an extra inch on each end. Here's the view from the top where you can see the non-mitered edges. And this is the view from the bottom. But you can't really see that from the front of the mantle, so we don't mind it much um, for how much less work it was for him. This is the view from the side that has the mitered edges. This is what was most important to us. All in all, we're very happy with how it turned out for under $30 for the mantle. We were able to hang our stockings above the fireplace for Christmas. This was my original amateur SketchUp sketch we made, and we still have to make the floating shelves, so please like and subscribe and stay tuned for those.